Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode here from the Back to Beta server, where in the last episode, we played our game of Spleef. Finally, we actually got it completed, and we played our game of Spleef, which was so much fun. That was probably one of my favorite videos um, I've made on the server to this day. It was uh, it was just a lot of fun to have everyone together, even though all the snowballs kind of lagged out the server and that, but uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun, and I hope you guys enjoyed that video as much as I, I did making it. But today we're going to be moving away from this stadium and away from the mini games. We've actually been playing quite a quite a few mini games recently, so we're going to move away and actually go back to our uh, our village project that we've been working on over here. Let me just I don't have a good way to get there from uh, where I was there, but uh, yeah, this village project that we sort of started over here. We've made some pathways, and I've actually spent a bit of time off camera um, extending the pathways a little bit, um, even if it's just a little bit of dirt, which it kind of is over there. Um, I did some more detailing and things like that, but I'd like to actually start getting in um, some buildings um, so we can kind of get a sense and, a, and an idea of what what the uh, the vibe of this this town, this village is going to look like next to the uh, the giant stadium. And I think I'm going to start with these two these two buildings here. Um, if I can get both of them done, definitely this one first, and then uh, maybe this one second, because these were the two sort of um, ideas that propelled this whole area into uh, into my imagination. So uh, yeah, we're gonna start with this 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 building here, and then we'll move on to this one here. All right, so I've started with a bit of a core concept shape here. This part here is gonna be the main structure. It's gonna be kind of a two two story building sort of here and then off to the side here is going to be storage and uh, maybe a little kind of workshop-esque area. Um, I'm not sure if I've mentioned this before but this building here is going to be based on some renaissance art that I saw which I haven't been able to find since which is really annoying but um, I'm pretty sure it was of uh, Galileo um, who if you don't know who Galileo is he perfected the telescope among other things Basically, I want to create, like, the building that he essentially lived in. So, yeah, pretty much he perfected the telescope um, and then basically went straight to, um, straight to, I don't know, the leader of whoever the, the people were, uh, I don't know, the, the doge of some, some something or other, and uh, basically went, hey, look at this, look at this instrument I built. It, it it can see things really far away, like enemy enemy ships coming and stuff. So they bought a bunch of them for the military and that, um, for military use. So Galileo got funded and uh, and uh, yeah, the military got a bunch of uh, bunch of telescopes. So yeah, I want to build this as like kind of his house here, and then this is would be like his little workshop or a storage place. And maybe he'd upstairs he would you know look out into the lagoon with his. Uh, with his telescope and things like that. And I, I really want to find that image because that's kind of the vibe I want to recreate recreate here. Um, and yeah, I don't really know how to do this, but we're going to try our best. I want this to be sort of the ground floor. So we're going to need some uh, some wood here. And we'll add some sort of detailing later. Uh, I'm going to make this sort of one step up like that. And then we'll make this all wooden here. For now like that cool, uh, and then, yeah, this can also all be wood like that, fine, very good. And yeah, because Galileo is in here and he's, you know, needing glass to, to perfect his telescopes, I'm going to make this area over here a little glass house with some, uh, some kind of storage and things over there, so that's kind of the idea. Um, now, I think, you know, these old buildings would need pretty robust robust architecture to sort of stay uh, stay together um, so that's what we're gonna try and do here um, and then this like workshop thing I, I almost want it to be a little bit more open to the uh, to the elements a little bit uh, so there'd be like a you know like a door here and then maybe I don't know I feel like I want it to, yeah, maybe maybe that can look like that, and then it turns into wooden posts kind of attaching into the center there. We'll, we'll get to that, I guess, we'll get to that. And obviously, yeah, we'll add, add all sorts of detailing things um, later, but uh, like the first thing I want to do is just get the, uh, you know, the general shape um, and feel of the build before I do anything else. 
yeah so this room this room feels right and we can kind of fill this up and maybe even patch these windows it might be a bit too much there um and now this room um uh, i realized i kind of want the uh the ground to be wood um uh, because obviously in these buildings like you know stone and and that would be heavy so you wouldn't really want to build your floor out of it otherwise it'd cave in um most of these buildings would probably have you know wooden wooden floors but stone walls you know that's kind of what I envision at least. I'm no historian and or architect. Cool, 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 cool. All right, nice. And now, like I said, I can't find that image that I'm thinking of right now, so I'm just kind of going off the dome and hopefully I can find it later for you guys to see. Um, but he's got this, you know, this window out here that, you know, he would sit at and be able to look out into the... Uh, into the valley or well into the um the lagoon and stuff with his telescope that, that he's testing um and i think this wall one of these walls i want to have like bookshelves i guess this one's got the staircase so i feel like this one needs to have bookshelves and stuff on it here so this is going to be pretty much closed off um like this whoa almost jumped off um, and then this is gonna have like a bit of a, a bit of a, a grandish kind of window considering the uh, the day. Yeah, okay, quite grand. He's got quite a large large house, that's for sure. Okay, let's uh, let me have a look at what this looks like from the outside. I imagine it probably just looks like a big flat, yeah, sandstone looking thing. <laughs> Uh, but that's okay. Yeah, it just looks like a big old sandstone box right now. Um, but that's okay. We can uh, we can obviously we can add detailing to it uh, later down the line. I just want to get the general shape in first. And I think that's I think that's right. I think that's what I want. It looks weird, but I think that's what I want for now. All right, sleep sleep. That took me ten minutes to do. Oh my god. Ugh. Shut up, zombie. Get a job. Um, and I guess, like, I mean, these are going to have glass in them, but this one here is going to be like a, almost like a shutter, a shutter door. So, so we'll have sort of that. It's almost like an open air kind of thing that he looks out, uh, looks out through, you know. So I think that looks okay. Alright, let's not, let's not get carried away with detailing just yet. Maybe we will, who knows, who cares. Alright, and I'm thinking probably we will... Ah! <coughs> damn it. Probably we will expand these stairs out here because, like, you know, if it was raining or something, you wouldn't want to... You'd still want to be able to see. So, I feel like practically these should be out here. And I think we should have fences underneath them because, you know, back in the day, they didn't have the most sophisticated method of... Uh, keeping things together so they just I don't know added more stuff more supports that you know we can infer were connected to the uh, to the main structure so I don't know what I'm talking about let's have a look at that yeah that looks alright just adds that little bit of extra something there I think we will be changing up a lot of this sandstone as well to be, you know, wooded, wood and things like that. So it's gonna, it's not gonna be so flat and just one whole color. So for now, that might be okay. We'll, we might just leave that for now and and see. Okay, but we will add these uh, support fences here, like that. I kind of like this effect of having this jut out, actually. I kind of like that. I don't know what... Let me just look at that. I don't know why, but I kind of like that. I kind of like that. The fact that... The, the weird fact that there's, like, a bit of, uh... Sandstone sticking out. I don't know why, but I kind of like it. It's weird. Adds like a little bit of extra shape to the build. I don't know why I like that, but I kind of like it. Uh, now I wonder if I should extend this on this side. 
because it does look a bit weird. It does look a bit weird and flat here. Hmm, maybe I should. Ah! Almost jumped off, but I didn't because I am intelligent. Okay, let's get rid of these. Uh, I don't like this side as much. I don't like that as much. Why don't I like that as much? Hmm. I like this. I guess it's, yeah, it's broken up a little bit. Maybe those do, those do add something. Hmm. Alright, let's, uh, let's move on to the vision I have for this spot here. I almost want like a burp, burp, like that. Maybe, maybe one or two fences there. Definitely one there and one there. Let me bring it in. How does that look outside? Okay, yeah, that is that is kind of the perfect height, I think. Mm, is that the perfect height? Maybe this is just one block too high. Something like that. Yeah, okay, that captures kind of the feel I want. And then we'll put some stuff in there as like a bit of a storage place. Cool, 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 cool. I feel like I need to break down this wall a little bit. It needs to be a little bit broken. I think that can just go. Let's just put these in here. I'm stuck in it. Ah! Let me out! Okay, so this building is coming along. We've got the general shape and structure. It does look a bit weird, but that's kind of, you know, a little bit of the point, is that it looks a bit strange. Uh, so the next step now that I'm going to try and work on is actually just kind of breaking it up a bit, making it a bit less flat. Um, I want to use wood. Um, I have some soul sand even, and some dirt that I'm going to kind of sprinkle within this build here and make it a bit more interesting to look at right now. It's, you know, it's very much just, uh, just, you know, one thing. Um, and yeah, one of the big concerns I had about doing this, can you shut your face hole? God damn. Uh, one of the big concerns I had about actually building with these, uh, these specific blocks is actually that I've also done the pathways in the same color scheme, which I'm worried might be an issue. Um, but I have actually brought along some sandstone as well. Um, wherever it is, uh, some sandstone, some soul sand, sorry, to actually kind of differentiate from the, from the, uh, from the dirt a little bit as well. So yeah, I'm going to spend some time actually trying to, to do this a little bit and see what happens. Oh my God, you are driving me insane. It's time to, time to die. Oh, oh, okay. So apparently there was a hole under there. Which I guess I probably could have guessed by the fact that he was, like, still under there. Now, I don't really know what will make this look best. But I'm gonna try some kind of, maybe a vine technique. Ooh, that is very high contrast. Hang on a second, let's take that out. Uh, okay, let's use this, let's use this lower. I know that, like, if you use darker stuff lower, um, it'll draw the eye up. So let's maybe go something like that. And then we definitely need some kind of a brighter color in there. Let's get a less contrasty thing in there. Okay. All right, fine, fine for now. Yeah, we definitely need sand all throughout the uh, throughout the build here. Uh, I don't really want to include wool. I think I don't know if that's gonna look good. Okay. Just looks a bit too much like things have just been randomly placed in for no reason, rather than kind of texturing, you know. That, 
does kind of get across what I was hoping to do. Hmm. I've never really done anything like this before, so I don't really, don't really know what looks good. And I think, I guess as well, that looks okay, and once we add a little bit more depth in, for example, if we have like, maybe like a, um, I don't know, maybe at that height? Or is that too low? Uh, actually that's okay. But just as an example, you know, something like this would wrap around the build to break it up a little bit, give it a bit more depth. I think that looks okay. And then, you know, we'd include a bit more of, of this action. Yeah, I think the, uh, the soul sand is probably only delegated to, like, the bottom corners. Maybe, maybe a couple blocks down here, I don't know. It's hard to really, it's hard to really use it effectively without it standing out like a sore thumb, you know. Alright, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Let's get a couple of sand blocks in there. Alright, we've got a bit of texturing going on now. And I think it's okay. Uh, like, again, this is not something I'm very comfortable with or have done much of in Minecraft before, but it's alright. I don't know if it, this is exactly turning out how I envisioned it might, but I don't know. Still looks okay. Yeah, it's gonna have. This is starting to have a lot of like weird, funky layers to it, which is a bit weird. Uh, maybe we could put a stair in there, and that'll look a bit better. Yeah, that looks right. That's better. Yeah, that's better. Not really sold on that now that there's a bit more detailing coming in. Just looks a bit weird. Sticking out like that, but I, I don't know. Maybe it could be slabs. Sandstone slabs. That might look better. Alright, oh, slabs aren't gonna go into the right place. Idiot. Okay, maybe without it actually does look better in the end. Alright, I'm actually quite happy with how this interior uh, exterior has kind of come out. I, yeah, like I said, I've got no no real experience with uh, with this way of building, but I'm really trying to push myself a little bit to build a little bit differently to how I would normally, and I quite like that. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. It's a bit, I feel like this one... It didn't come out exactly the way I, I envisioned it, but it's kind of, kind of okay. It's kind of okay that it didn't. Um, I think I think in terms of the housing, uh, well, how how the houses look in this village kind of area, this is kind of a bit more of an upmarket kind of build. Uh, I think the rest will have you know flatter roofs, um, you know, won't be as protected from the elements a little bit. I think that's kind of my my impression, but I, th I quite I quite like how this one looks. I, I quite like how this has kind of turned out in the end. Now this is going to be like a bit of a storage kind of section, um, and I kind of want to, I want to build like a little cart here, um, and I want to utilize some of the broken pistons that I've shown off um, before. Uh, credit to Dirtly, Deadly Dirt Block, Dirtly Dead, Dirt, oh my god, Deadly Dirt Block for, uh, for making me aware of a lot of these designs. The spider's freaking me out. You're not coming for me, are you? Because I'm on no health, I've just realized. You can just die. Okay, cool. Flick that first, there, and then there. There we go. For those of you who don't know what I'm doing right now, I'm uh, making some glitch piston heads, which I have actually made a tutorial video on how to get all the different kinds of, uh, of glitch pistons, and I think these will just look really good as wheels, so that's why I'm uh, that's why I'm building them, um, and they're pretty simple, pretty simple to uh, to actually make, which is ideal. Let's do that. Um, I'll flick that for now. There we go. Okay, cool. So we've got our wheels. Now let's add our carriage, uh, which I want to do with 
stairs that are facing in like that. Okay, and now I want to have some... Oh, I might have to remove... Okay, whatever. It's fine, we'll figure it out. Um, if I go... And then go there, there... I'm gonna actually use a couple of kinds... Uh, a couple kinds of glitch pistons um, in this. Alright, cool. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Something like that. I think that looks kind of kind of cool and like a storage like you know like some storage boxes have been kind of brought over and you know the illusion might break if you're uh you're ever jumping or moving but i think it's cool i think it's a bit unique and i and i don't mind that you know i'm just thinking about the shape of the cart now i don't know whether the having the uh the stairs turned in is like a good thing maybe we can uh Maybe we can try changing it. Let's see. Okay, yeah, maybe, maybe that does look better. I don't know. Maybe you guys can let me know in the comments whether you think uh, the first way or the second way look better. Could be a case of having actually this one be facing the correct way. Um, if we And if we just replace these with real blocks, um, then... Nope, that's not what I meant to do. Yeah, because that looks like, you know, where the, uh, where it would get pulled from, I guess. And then the rest of it's kind of like, yeah, this is how you would, you know, slide it on and things like that. I think that look that card looks good. Let me know in the comments what you think of that card. I'm actually kind of, kind of happy about how that, that turned out in the end. Okay, now looking at this open section here, I kind of want this to be, I want this to be like a, uh, uh, you know, a storage space where like anything that comes here will come through here first before it goes into the house and, you know, into, the, you know, the workshop of any kind. Okay, in terms of exteriors, I think I'm kind of happy with how that's looking. Um, we even added, you know, a little bit of extra wood stuff here, and we could, we could, you know, work on a bit more of the pathways, but I think for now I'm quite happy with how this exterior is looking. It did take me a couple of hours, um, you know, because obviously i got to kind of brainstorm what I want to do. I'm kind of building off the cuff. I'm not, I don't plan these builds, I'm just kind of, kind of doing it, but I'm pretty happy with how this looks. Um, we've got this uh, wagon here, which we use some uh, some glitch pistons here, and uh, some more glitch pistons up here as like kind of storage boxes. It's like he's getting a delivery of some kind, and then these would kind of get offloaded here, and uh, this is kind of the uh, the processing area where, uh, you know, there's clearly a lot of junk that's uh, waiting to be moved. Um, right now the interior isn't done, but we'll get to that now. Um, yeah, we'll make a start on this interior, and then, yeah, up here is the sort of main, the main room. So, yeah, let's get started on that. Okay, let's get working on this interior. I think it's going to be pretty simple, all things considered. Um, I don't know if Galileo had, had a, had a partner or anything, but in this world, he doesn't. <laughs> He's a lonely boy. Uh, so let's just have him with one, ah, I keep getting trapped, with one little stair there, he's got one little seat, let's grab these signs, there we go, that's his one little, uh, living room seat there, um, and now let's get probably some furnaces in here, uh, maybe this, yeah, something like that maybe could look good, okay, and then we need, obviously, some storage, um, maybe another bit of storage there. I, ca I like to picture he's like chaotic, like a little bit like messy, a little bit chaotic in a way, in terms of how he stores things. Yeah, a little book there. Um, and maybe we can have, yeah, like, so that's like a little recipe thing there. Um, and maybe we can have, I don't know, some kind of a, an ornament. Oh, maybe we could have some interior plants or something at some point. But for now, we've got an oak sapling there. That shouldn't grow as well. Okay, I don't mind that. Don't mind that. Uh, yeah, maybe we could have another kind of sapling on top of here. Like a birch sapling. Got the exotic plants, you know. Right. Now, we come up here, which would be the bedroom as well. So let's grab our bed. And again, he's a lonely man, so he just has the, the single bed. 
but it's tucked away because he he doesn't he doesn't care enough he doesn't care for sleep. So we'll tuck that away there. Um, and now we need bookshelves. Yeah, he's got he's got quite the impressive collection there, sitting next to him. And then he's got uh, he's got his workbench, which we can. I don't know if we can. No, we can't really break into there, can we? Uh, let's say his work. Maybe his workbenches can be like note blocks. That's kind of cool. Something different. Cool. And then we need another chair. Uh, should there be, there should probably be an artwork down here as well. That's cool, because it kind of, that's, I actually kind of like that painting, because it kind of looks like he's taking it himself, looking out, uh, looking out in the way, like here. <laughs> that's kind of cool. I'll take it. Okay, so we've actually finished the whole house now. Galileo's house is all finished and done on the inside and I also took the time to uh, build this glass house uh, next to us which I will show in a minute but um, you've seen most of the exterior I haven't changed anything on the exterior the only thing on the interior I've changed is this uh, black wool carpet I decided that I uh, that I'd like a bit of black wool in here and then up here I didn't really show it off too well um, in that in that full recording that I did uh, when I was initially building this but yeah he's got a sort of bed here some nice little uh i mean a place to play music because you know he's gotta gotta listen to music while he's uh while he's working his craft a uh, bit of storage but there's nothing in this one um painting because uh i mean i thought i'd have the angel on it because you know he he would look at the stars and whatever <laughs> uh we've got you know tree in here and then um a chest with some glass and some sticks you know kind of maybe he's tinkering with uh with building his telescopes and stuff up here. So yeah, that's what the uh, the fully finished interior and actually fully finished uh, uh, house of Galileo looks like, and I'm, I'm very happy with, with how this, uh, this turned out in the end. Uh, yeah, I think it was a really, really hard project. I, I, yeah, like I said, I've never really built like this before, but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Uh, now this one, I didn't really build it on camera because I pretty much just did the same kind of process as I did with this one, except I had a, a, a lot more of a, a fully fleshed out, you know, kind of process. And, you know, I did the same kind of thing. I made the shape first, um, and sort of, uh, went from there with the, with the decorations and the, uh, uh, detailing and that. So, uh, yeah, let me show you what this house is all about. Uh, this is the glass maker's house, or like the, I don't know what they, what they're actually called. I'm sure they have a specific name, but I, I don't have it yet. So, yeah, obviously these got big grand windows to, to show that, that fact off. Uh, and you come in here, and this is uh, comes straight into sort of the workshop area. Um, so, you know, there's the furnace where um, you'd smelt the, smelt the sand. So there's, that's why there's like a bit of extra sand on the ground here. So you smelt the sand, and then these are meant to be kind of like you're, you're, you're shaping the sand into like what you'd want, you know? Um, because that's what they have to do, like, once it's all, you know, red hot and whatever, um, you shape it, and then at the back here, this is kind of like, hey, it's the final product. <laughs> it kind of gets presented on the, uh, oh, on the, uh, on the pedestal is what I'm trying to, trying to say. So, uh, yeah, kind of cool. We've got that little, uh, little, what's it called? Production line. That's kind of cool. And, uh, yeah, we've got this interior that leads to sort of where the, uh, the glass maker would sort of live. He's got, he's got a double bed. He's got a, he's got a partner, I guess. Maybe he's just a big man. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, he's got, got this nice little cozy interior in here. Um, and then if we come around the back as well, you know, you can kind of see the, uh, what the exterior kind of looks like. And, uh, in here, this is kind of meant to be like a bit of a farm or a stable of some kind. Um, currently has no occupants. Oops. Uh, but, yeah, kind of, that's, that's kind of the idea. Um, and then here's the back. Just got that kind of detailing. Yeah, a couple of quite nice houses. These are, like, a bit more upmarket because, obviously, people, uh, People are in high demand of uh, of glass, and then Galileo, I guess, is able to afford a big house because of his uh, contribution to the uh, to the military. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the process of me building these structures, and I hope you guys think these are nice structures as well. Um, 
yeah, a bit of a different video today. I kind of wanted to try, you know, kind of building along uh, or like, you know, bringing you guys along for the bu building process, especially when it's something that I'm not very comfortable with or, or you know, kind of new to. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Laters.